So now we're going to go ahead and create our schematic. So back in the control panel, uh, here is our library. You can see all of the devices we've made are listed. And now let's go down into projects. And if you highlight your projects folder, which is in your documents under Eagle, go file new project. And I'm going to call it a stable multi vibrator since that's what this schematic is. And this is just a project that combines your schematic and board. So we'll start out by making our schematic first. And here is our schematic workspace. Uh, the grid spacing, we'll leave it as default because if you remember all of our schematic symbols, which is what will go on this, are in inches. I like to see the grid, so I'll display the grid. And usually the very first thing I do is I will go over here to add part and I am going to put a frame and what a frame is and just search frame because you can see these are all the pre-built in libraries here uh, this is uh, what you would see in a schematic if you were to make a print and it just helps me because uh, I always like to think that every schematic I make I may need a print especially when you start building this PCB out and you refer to the schematic and this frame is just for one it's professional looking for two uh, you know you're in 8 by 11 space or if you're doing 11 by 17 they have a frame for that too and we can go ahead and change the uh, title of the drawing I don't think there's a way of editing this bar already let me see yeah it's the stippled the value so I think we just delete it and add a text box probably. So go ahead and delete it and you just add a text box to do that. You click on text. A stable multi vibrator. You can put document numbers and anything like that if you have multiple schematics. Change the size here. Uh, let's try one. Yep, I think that's maybe a little bit bigger. Alright, so um, it's in our nets layer, which we don't want, so I'm going to go ahead and just highlight it do inspector and then change this to info and you can put your date here if there's multiple sheets your sheet numbers and so forth so that's our frame and now we're going to make the schematic inside that and we're literally just going to make draw out just like this with the exception of a switch and it's not a 9 volt battery, we're using a 3 volt watch coin cell battery. And we're adding an extra resistor here. And the reason that I'm adding that extra resistor is because these are going to have uh, variable resistors. In the variable resistor, you could uh, trim it all the way to a short and if it's a short here then it doesn't blink <laughs> so I need another uh, resistor in series to bottom out my resistance value which will be the 1k resistor so now um, we want to pull up our library and to do that we need to add it first because it's not going to be listed here as you can see there's lots of different components already built in uh, to the Eagle CAD libraries plus I think I have some additional ones here that I've already added so to add more, uh, we'll just go to Library Manager, click uh, Available tab, and Add. And right here is our multi-vibrator library that we created already in previous videos. And we will open that just to show you. It's in the Libraries folder of the Eagle. And once we uh, once we add it, now we have to highlight it and click Use. So I'll highlight it here. You can see it doesn't have a check mark next to it or that arrow. And I'll hit use and it should be listed. And 
and there it is. So now if we bring it, you can see this is our all our devices we made, and it's listing them by devices because in the schematic level, that's all you care about. So now, because I organize them all together, I don't have to look for anything. My method is, is before I even connect anything, I just drop every device I know that's going to be on here. And since this schematic has a lot of symmetry, um, everything, there's two of everything. Uh, it kind of lends itself well in terms of design style to have all of my odds on one side and all of my evens on the other side. And then uh, th those types of little tricks right there uh, just help organize things. And when you build this out, you can see, okay, or even when you lay it out on a PCB, you can say, oh, this is an odd number. This is part of all the odds work together. All the evens work together. So I'll add my trim resistor. And I'm just going down the list here, adding different things. I'm not so worried right now where I put it. I'm just going to drop it. Here, if you right click, it rotates before you drop it. So before I left click, if I right click, it'll spin it around, which could be helpful. Uh, this is upside down, so I just right click it twice and it gets me back to the top. Here's a transistor. And now we have all the parts. In the next video, we'll start to lay them out and organize it.